and welcome to That's What You Think. We have a couple of fresh faces on the panel today. Yeah. From, they're fresher than and ever. And an old one. And oh, you're fresh too. You're the freshest. You're the freshest one here. From 99.3 oh. The Fox. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're not the freshest. You guys are fresh. Well, I mean, okay, we're doing our best. Can we start They're over? Being okay. Fresh. From 99.3 The Fox, we have Drex here. Thank you so much for being here, Drex. Yeah, no worries. The lovely Leah Halai <laughs> from News 1130, and on the end down there, Paul Haysom. Hello, he's Hello. an anchor and producer at BC One anger. and Global. Sound like he said anger. I'm not he's mad. At I'm an anger. <laughs> he's he's angry producer. all the time. <laughs> well, everybody, we're gonna get right into it with our first topic. It was the fall on the face that was felt all around mm -hmm. the nation. Um, Montreal Canadian George Peros uh, got a little bit scrappy with uh, a, 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 an opponent of his, Maple Orr. Leafs guy, Colton Orr. Um, so he went down, and mm -hmm. this was pretty bad, the way that we actually have video of this, of the of the of his sort of knockout. Let's have a look at this, and we can sort of talk about it. I mean, they're scrapping away. He almost tripped a little bit, didn't he? Well, he gets dragged down by he Colton Orr. He was holding Orr, his jersey, yeah. and that's yeah. what happened. So you can fell. watch Colton Orr drags him right down right Pulls there. Pulls him down. Yeah. Smacks his face yeah. into the ice. Yeah. So it wasn't like he was hit and knocked out. It was almost like a little accident. He was just yeah. sort of pulled down. But this, of course, wouldn't happen if he didn't, if they weren't fighting in the first place. Yeah. Well, I see that's, I have a bit of a bone yes. of contention there because yeah. you see hits. You saw what happened to Sidney Crosby a couple mm -hmm. years ago. He yeah. didn't get in a fight. He right. got hit from behind. He got hit awkwardly, and he fell over. Right. And say, "Well, that would never happen if he got in a fight." So mm -hmm. it's it's. I don't really. I don't but, believe well, that. This that's hard to say hit. that that's yeah. the reason it happens because they yeah. fought. Guys fight hundreds of times mm -hmm. throughout this season yeah. and don't get hurt. But that's the whole yeah, point. The one time. Should this be happening in the first uh, place? They use it. I, I mean, fighting. I think there's really no major use for it. Instead of when a team's losing, they like to put the enforcer out there to rile them up. You know, get into fights. But to me, I think it's pointless. It takes time from the game. And who wants to see each other bashing each other? Well, like every something, hockey you know? fan ever I does. Yes, that's I know. The well, problem. I, yes, I love, I love hockey that's myself, the problem. right? But yeah. to me, I could go without it. I've yeah. seen no what do you for think, Greg? Uh, look, as an as an outsider, as a new Canadian, yes. I, I don't <laughs> understand why they're fighting. Like, I get it. I understand yeah. it. It's yeah. entertainment almost, but yeah. I don't. I don't see a need for it. No. Right, well, it's the it's only really sport where it is. It's legal. You know, where you're yeah. allowed to fight, you don't either get suspended for would, a long period of what time. What would happen if the NHL ever, like, just think hypothetically for a second, what happen, What would happen if the NHL said, right, no more fighting? No more. Well, they should think to the about game? saying Well, no, that. and they are they thinking should, about that. Yeah. There's three general managers in the league who say, yeah, yeah we're interested in getting mm -hmm. it completely out of the game. The problem is, is what, you know, the, the people will say, is that what it does, it controls the game. So there's mm -hmm. these guys running around Europe, a lot of leagues in Europe don't allow fighting, and guys run around slashing each other mm -hmm. everywhere. They All slash the each other, and everyone's a tough guy. I think uh, PJ Stock put it that way earlier in the week. And the thing with fighting is it's kind of the policing without, without using the refs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's guys can't run around and mm -hmm. be idiots. And mm -hmm. it is part of the game. If you're a real hockey fan, you know that it can change the dynamic can, of a game yeah. totally. Yes, but I don't think Jerome McGinley gets in a fight, yeah. that changes the game. It changes yeah. the game, but should it be? It's the only game, it's the only sort of recognized sport where they can sort of drop their gloves yeah. and go and at it. And go. should it yeah. be that way? But as soon and as everybody stands the around ice, and does nothing. That's it, right? The, right. It's over, don't get me right? wrong, I want to see someone smash their head into the ass, because that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. But the, yeah. it's, it's an issue like this that'll bring it up. Yeah. But I think it'll slowly, I mean, you pulled Eventually. every single NHL player, none of them said that hockey or fighting should be out of the game. So you don't want to don't Obviously want to see it you don't want game. to see it go away. Well, I don't away. know. I'm, yeah. kind of, I'm kind of indifferent about it because right. I do understand both sides for mm -hmm. sure. Like, I don't want to see a guy breaking his face on the ice. No right. one wants to see that, really. Right. But you also, you go, yeah, well, <laughs> Drax is the exception. Yeah. That's weird. I want to see more fighting in tennis. <laughs> yeah. Tennis would be if interesting. If there was a tennis really? fight, yeah. yes. But no, but the, the, thing, the thing is, though, yeah. that if you, you go to a hockey game, and this is the point that everyone's making, yeah. you see two guys drop the mints, no yeah. one's getting up to go get popcorn. Everyone's no. standing up yeah. and loving it. No. But it so it's kind of hard though. to take it out. Yes. You know? Yeah, but what's the most popular sport in the States right now? Yeah. UFC fighting. Yeah, no, so that's, that's not true. dangerous. Well, that's another that thing I can't stand yeah. is the yeah. UFC. I, I don't understand how yeah. uh, like the human condition hasn't risen above watching this. I don't, so I, don't, I don't get it. I can't it, watch it. It's barbaric yeah. to me. Like they're yeah. bashing yeah. each other, kicking, blood splurting. Like yeah. that to me. I can't watch Boxing I can understand because there's a limit, but the kicking and the punching and the grabbing and the, yeah. You've just given me an idea with it, because I know you just said, oh, no one gets up to go get popcorn. You know what? When you go 
see a Canucks game, like it's the lineup to the bathroom is crazy. Yes. I think they should have more fighting, so I have time. So to then go you to can the go, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good tip. Because then you can go to the bathroom, fighting, get some go to the bathroom. Bathroom. a couple of beers. Yeah. The line's really short. Yes, yeah, and but the true. other thing is, you would never see this in soccer. Like we're saying, you'd no. never see this go on in basketball. Because they dive around all in the soccer. time. It's they're crazy. diving. They, oh, they dive around. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't see this in any other sport. And as a woman who's a mother of two, and I take a little kid to a hockey game, I'm not sure I want to see this, or I'm not sure what I'm going to tell him as to why they're fighting. Think of like hockey in the 70s when they didn't even have helmets mm -hmm. and they're bashing each other and falling on the ice. They, had they were men back they then, had right? Sweet mustache. Well, yeah. George Perros has a pretty yeah. amazing mustache. Yeah, yeah. they had the and that's the mustache. saddest part of him yeah. hitting that. What's, face. what's the video from a few years ago that's doing the rounds on the internet? It's been there for years. It's it's probably from 10, 15 years ago where some uh, one of the hockey players gets knocked out. He's on the ground and there's just that pool of blood pulling. Well, out. you're probably talking there's about Todd Bertuzzi. That's the one. Which is that happened here? Yeah, that happened in here in Vancouver. One of my favorite videos to watch. But see, that's that's the terrible side of it. And of that's course. the side that is going to dominate the media in the For States sure. when mm -hmm. people are talking about it's hockey. They're thinking some other yeah. guy's hurt, another yeah. guy's hurt. And it is yeah. bad. And I don't know that it's great for the time, the game. And there is a time and a place. What I don't like is two guys going out for a staged fight. Yeah. I think if it happens in the middle of play, yeah. two guys, it's yeah. a hard-nosed play. Yeah. You know, two guys grind it out. They have a fight. They're yeah. done with it. Yeah. I'm okay with it. But the two goons going out there to drop yeah. the match, that, do do that, that should yeah. be gone. And, and they do that. They need to but if you can take yeah. that out of the game, yeah. then that's then a way you're kind of getting yeah. the best of both worlds. Yeah. Because I think it needs to be reconsidered. I, I don't. Yeah. I quite frankly don't want to see it anymore, but I accept it as part of the game because it's been going on for so many years, but I'd like to see it eliminated. But anyway, we're going to move on to the... That's what you think. And that's what I think. That's what I think. Good night. That's right. That's what the show. All right. Okay. We're going to move on to the next topic. Um, our government may cut back on a lot of things, but boy, oh boy, when it comes to building a bridge, we got all the money in the world to build the bridges, and they're going to take that money right out of our pockets. Now, Christy Clark just recently announced the Massey Tunnel will be replaced by a new bridge, and work will start 2017. Obviously, we're going to pay for it. I mean, how do you guys feel about now the third toll crossing? Okay. I ha okay. Since I do traffic, I know all about this, and uh, flying over that thing too, seeing yes. how. You know, For years, you've replaced. flown over that. Yes. Yeah. Um, the other thing I, you have to think about, if they're going to toll, which of course they're going to toll this new bridge, they're going to have to probably eventually toll the Alex Fraser and the Botello yes. as well because everybody's going to go there instead. That's what happened with the Portman Bridge. Now that that's tolled, everybody's heading towards the Botello and the Alex Fraser. So what are you alternate. seeing so, like on the Botello Bridge? Remember yeah. how bad it was before oh, now yeah. with the new it's bridge? It's worse. You, it's still bad. Yeah, it's the still Botello bad. Bridge and the Alex Fraser Bridge are heavier oh, than sorry, they used to be. Oh, sorry, I meant the Portman. Like, what are you seeing oh, now, now that it's 10 lanes? Isn't, you know? isn't that bad anymore? <laughs> yeah. Nobody's going there because nobody wants to take it. There's also like the those ice years. bombs as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drive over that. Don't drive over that. Yeah, the ice but the Golden Years Bridge, same situation. Yeah. Hardly anybody takes that one. Well, that bridge told. will never be paid for. It will never be paid no, for, I think, in our lifetime. Yeah. It's I mean, pretty bad, though, the, the congestion. I mean, tunnel, I do yeah. understand yeah. that well, something needs to be done. Well, through the Burnaby Lake stretch, definitely, yeah. but not the it's Port Bridge itself. If you're trying to get to the ferries to downtown Vancouver, say, like you, I used to come over and watch hockey games, you'd sit in that traffic for hours and hours. And so something does need to be done. I read an article that they originally, the guy who originally wanted to build it, he said, I want to make this four lanes. Right. And mm -hmm. the developer said, oh, you're not going to need four lanes at no. all. You know, you're only no. going to need two. And they mm -hmm. met in the middle at three. Why don't right. people, well, they just, why people like... just use more public transport? We've got a perfectly we don't good have sky good train. Yeah, but people don't. So, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I use it's it every terrible. single day. It's perfect. If you live in, like, Sosory, White Rock, yeah. Delta, Langley, you're screwed. Like, yeah. you're screwed. Sorry, can't they you build have more sky trains? Oh, oh please. They, they ended it like in Surrey, and that was it. They were planning on going out to Langley, and then they, they need of to they build didn't have But what about using and both? What about rail. using a bridge and a tunnel? That's well, that using the I tunnel think, one yeah. way, the well, bridge yeah. the other Don't way. Don't destroy the a perfectly good tunnel, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. That was the original plan. A year ago, we were hearing all about this. There was already, it was already in the works that they were planning on this. They were thinking of possibly building a bridge, which was um, near River Road, sort of uh, the Tilbury area, mm -hmm. having that cross and then keeping the tunnel yeah, where it is. That's a great idea. That was one of the ideas, but I guess they scrapped that. I think they should build a bridge. And then the turn bridge. the tunnel into the George Massey parking yeah, we'll lot. Yeah, it's pretty much that now, right? <laughs> you're you're yeah. right, exactly. Yeah. Like that tunnel is not going to last very long, so yeah. they have to get rid of it. But another they thing they have it. to think about is, I think, Delta Port and boats and ships mm -hmm. coming through. So they need like a. Uh, if I were yeah. me, I'd build a swing bridge and I'd keep the They're tunnel not. and cut it's, the cost. It's going to be like the uh, Port Man and the Alex Fraser Bridge, except for it's not going to have the peaks like that, like uh, the Port Man. So no ice bombs for that. One. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank goodness. But the thing is, you know, the government just got us because so many people 
live uh, south of the Fraser River yes. because you can afford to live there. So yeah. you've got to cross the river no matter you what to. you do. And they know and that. And I said they're going to toll the Alex Fraser and the Patello as well once they get that one in. And I'm riding my bicycle. Have to pay. Yeah, just, just ride it. your bike everywhere. Yeah, just ride your bike. Or no, get, get, get a canoe. Skateboard. And we get can go over the river get and a canoe. Get a canoe. That is what I'm going to have to do. Okay. Good first segment, everyone. The fresh faces were good. Fresh faces proved all right. We're going to take a little break and when we come back, we're going to talk about relationships and engagements and diamonds. We'll be right back. Oh my. <laughs> And that's what you think is brought to you by Kia West. Many new models to choose from, including Soul, Sorento, and Optima. Kia West Motors, 688 Lloyd Highway, Coquitlam. And that's what you think is brought to you in part by IKEA Insurance, Home, Auto, Life, and more. We care for you and everything you love. IKEAinsurance.ca Do you think you can start playing that song on the box? That's pretty good. That's not my brother did it's the not music. Not as bad as the little rock. I like yeah. that. That's a good song. That's we'll my do a dance. Song. That follows me around. Welcome back to That's What You Think. A couple of weeks ago, a former couple made quite a scene outside a Vancouver courtroom. You might recognize a photo of these two people here Charles Zampieri. <laughs> and his ex fiance Jessica Bennett. My goodness, they caused a bit of a fracas as well. Um, he's suing her over this uh, hoo-ha over the, this uh, diamond ring. He gave it to her, they broke up, she wants it back. Uh, she wants to keep the ring, actually. That looks like the That's Princess Diana diamond. ring. And, and yeah. That is a, a picture of a ring very similar to the How actual much ring. <laughs> How much does it cost? Uh, 16 dollars is, is like sixteen dollars and fifty cents. Sixteen thousand dollars. Sixteen thousand oh, five hundred dollars. No, nah, he got wow. that out of a gumball machine. No, for sure, that's a scooper. It looked yeah. like he pulled <laughs> that one out of the scooper for well, sure. But here's the thing: they they met on Plenty of Fish, oh. and they dated for three weeks, and then they got engaged, and they uh -huh. broke up, and then there's all this well, debate about the well, ring. Well, they're both idiots that's for doing tough, that. They're both idiots. That's a tough situation. So what do you think? Like, yeah. I think um, should she keep it? I oh, okay. It depends on how long they've been together. Like you said, it sounded like something quick. If it was me, I would give it back. If I was with the person for over 10 years or whatever, then I'd probably keep it. I think there's a limit. I think, I think more importantly, it's who ended what, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. if it's the guy's fault or if yeah. he's the one who says, look, I'm done with it, you can yeah. probably keep that ring or, though. Because or, you're giving that essentially, like yeah. if, if mm -hmm. but if it's the girl who ends things, the female who ends things, mm -hmm. she should give it back. Mm -hmm. Or and that's, if I think cheated, if someone cheated, Yeah, right? if someone cheated, if she then yeah, cheated you burn and, that ring. Yeah, but what kind of cuckoo back. is this guy to meet someone for three weeks and then give her a 60 What kind of cuckoo is she for getting engaged to a guy after three weeks I'm after like, meeting him on a website? She is cuckoo too, they're both cuckoo, they can have each other. They both need a good kick in the pants. But if this were you, let's say you dated someone for two years and then you gave a ring and it didn't work out, would you want the ring I'd back? I'd ask it back and hook it for a brand new Kia. That's what I would <laughs> there do. There we go. <laughs> he, he is a smart he man. He knows the sponsor. <laughs> yeah, that's no, true. What would you do? Like, well, you'd keep it if it was I, for yeah. years. If, if it was years, it. I'd keep it. If it was something like their situation, you, like a couple months, I'd give it back. Would you keep yeah. it and sell it, though? Do you want to wear something? No, I wouldn't wear it. Do you want to wear it? But it's yours now. If I if I propose to a girl and she says yes and we're happy and then I screw it up or I descend to end the relationship and say you know I don't know let's not do it. She can have that ring. I was it was my fault for for going that far and trying it out. If she wants to give it back to me, great. Right. But I feel if I end it. Yeah. But if she ends up, it's a parting gift. Give me that back. Right yeah, there. parting gift. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. use that again. Yes. Yeah. I don't think I'd want the ring. Like if exactly. I was in a relationship for a few years, we broke up. I don't think I could enjoy the ring. No, remind I think you of that guy. Well, yes, it would. Or, or, yeah. You does he want it back? It. So, like you mentioned, he can mm -hmm. give it to the next one. Exactly. Yeah, oh, that's right. Exactly. You know, like, recycle. 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 Oh, I'm sure you could. Turn it in. You could trade it. I don't Maybe. think that's very classy. See, and that yeah. ring, that specific ring, and it's doesn't engraved. look too nice to me. That's it looks a, a lot like Princess Diana's ring. Yeah. No, it's, it's, the big, it's the well, big jewel. Well, if it's a real sapphire with diamonds sapphire, around, yeah. around it, it probably would it be, be that much. But that even seems too high like for that ring, really? the look okay. of that ring. It does look a little bit. Okay. I, I think we should talk about how expensive engagement rings are in general. I know. Like the principle of having to give someone a $17,000 gift. Like, what are you going to do? The story behind the apparent uh, tradition of three mm -hmm. months' salary is mm -hmm. is rubbish. It was yeah. it yeah. was made up by the by the diamond sellers the diamond back in the early 1900s yeah. Yeah. Right. to yeah. sell more diamonds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diamonds aren't they shouldn't be as expensive as they are. They're actually a plentiful resource. There's millions There's and millions and yeah. millions of them. Mm -hmm. It's just the flow of diamonds is controlled. So, so the, then you, you have so idiots. the three months' salary's out. How much yeah. should you spend? Like, mm -hmm. would a girl if you spent 
If you spent two grand though, would a girl okay, not be ladies, like? Okay, ladies, don't date Drax. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I, I would. You'd be, be happy fine with that? that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I would it's, be it's happy. A, it's with only that. in the thought. Depends who, who, yeah. yeah. Who I don't think you. Girl is. I don't think you're judging someone's True. love for somebody on how much they spend. How much on they spend? A, no, right. it's the no. thought. It's and you know, and if you went out and got it yeah. designed, or you picked the design, or whatever, yeah. and it wasn't that expensive, mm -hmm. that would be more. Yes, it would. And if it was a pretty ring, you'd wear it with pride, and you'd love it. Yeah, but if you guys got a nine thousand dollar ring, you wouldn't be like, oh, next topic. Down. You know what? I, I, I love diamonds. I do. I do too. Yeah. I love diamonds. You've got I'm quite a, a sizable one there. Friend. But yeah. it's actually not that big, but it's just, it sits it's up not, high. Oh, oh, Matthew. No. I like oh, no, no, it's oh, no, no. I mean, I, I love my little ring. I'm but it's not big enough for you. No, no. You love your little ring. You're going to have to give it back to him. You're going to have to give it back to him. I love my wedding ring. I don't wish it was bigger. No, I don't wish it was bigger. Really? No, I'm fine with this. But I don't want some big honking Joan Collins type of ring. It's very pretty. And Matthew slaved for that. Yes, he did. It's a beautiful ring and I love it. I would never trade it in. Oh God, I gotta wrap up this conversation. Yeah. You better go home and explain this talk. <laughs> no, I don't think it's, artist, I mean, or? I don't think it's garish. My ring is, I wouldn't want a big garish yeah. ring. I just like a, Well, then you, know. you don't want to get mugged and like robbed right. and get so it's not, off your finger. So it's not blingy enough, it's not garish enough? You want it's it to be a little bit that's more? That's what no, no, I'm going to tell the girls. I didn't want you to get mugged. I'm happy with this I bought you a $900 ring. I didn't want you to get mugged. Not 900. No. 900 is less too cheap. Have you got that tested? That could be a cubic zirconia. It could be a blood diamond. We don't know. It could be a blood diamond. That's a whole other that's another, yeah, that's a whole show on Okay, we're going to lighten things yeah. up. We're going to we move on. We're going to play a little game. Now, I have some pictures that I haven't shown you guys. Just, oh, just no. fun, something fun that we could do. She like found we're not having on the internet. Oh, okay. yeah. oh. If we could put up the first picture. These are celebrities when they were young. Can you guess oh my who that celebrity is? Is that, uh, is that uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's? Uh, what's the name? You are going to say Audrey Hepburn? Audrey, I was going to say Audrey Hepburn, or, too. Or you would be wrong. Uh, what incorrect. about the princess? What was she was the princess? Princess Grace? Uh, no. Princess Grace. Grace, 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 Grace Kelly? No, Grace Kelly. Princess Grace. No, yeah. good guess. Can good I see guess. it again? Yeah, let's well, see if we see it again. Uh, she seems to be wearing she has a little an interesting yeah. headdress. Yeah. Oh, it's Fanny Kiefer. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, everybody I, give up. That's Julianne. Who is it? That is Judy Dench. Judy oh. Dench. That's Judy Dench. Dame, 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 Dame Judy Dench. And that Dench. was her in 1957. Oh, no. oh I, I never see that. Look at that. She's she moved so cute. She put the headdress down to a necklace. Beautiful, 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 beautiful woman. Beautiful. Okay, <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the next. There are prizes. Oh, so do oh, your oh, oh, hang on, sorry. What are the prizes? Yeah. It's a big bottle. We got zeros across the board. It's a blood diamond. It's a blood diamond. Okay, who's this lovely lady? Oh my gosh. Guesses? Anybody? Anybody? That is that is Raquel Welch. <laughs> oh, good no. guess. Um, Very close. Oh, no. Murphy kidding. Brown. Is it, oh, is good it, guess. Good guess. Is it Jane Fonda? Jane Fonda. No, no. Paul, you've got a guess. Is it Dame Judy Dent? <laughs> <laughs> is it Drex? <laughs> is it Drex? Yes. She is correct. That is Martha Stewart. What? Oh. Martha Stewart. She used oh, to be a model. Martha that. Stewart was smoking hot when she smoking was young. Smoking hot. 1961. And that was Martha Stewart. 61. She's very pretty. Uh, jail today. changed her. I don't she know got real you... hard after jail. Yeah. I don't know whether you've ever seen. There's a, picture, there's a picture of her and Snoop Dogg on the set of her TV show on the internet. Oh, yeah? And God. the caption says, only one of these people is a convicted felon. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, that's that's funny. We yeah. know who it is. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, let's take a look at the next picture. We're not doing so get. hot in this one. Oh, that's Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I okay. saw this one. Yeah. Okay, everybody knows that I really hadn't seen that before. So when I saw yeah. it, I said I got to put that. In. Look at him. I know what a change. Yeah. He was the little chubby kid with the, big glasses yeah, and glasses. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you would just yeah. never you think that that was Ryan Seacrest. You can see the made-for-TV right now. Yeah. Yeah. That is amazing. But you know what? He's he's yeah. he's done well for himself. He's, he he's totally that nerdy well. kid. And now he's worth millions Absolutely. of dollars. He hosts everything. And he's so fit. I'm surprised he's not hosting this show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Like he needs another gig. Okay, we have one more picture for you. Okay, everybody. John Travolta. That's no, no, no. Alec no, Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Yes! Oh, okay. Alec I, can, no I can tell by the hamburger And the meat. eyes. And the, the hairy head. Right look at that little scarf he's got That's going sexy. on. Uh, look at, well, what is up with that yeah. outfit? But that was him. He got that our, Urban Outfitters. I think I like the bow tie better. <laughs> I mean, he's a yeah. blood? <laughs> our graphics guy thought that was John Ritter. John oh, Ritter? Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting Does your graphics guy drink before coming to Yes, he does. He's drinking right now. Okay, everyone, that's it. Thanks for playing. Who's the winner? Nobody won? I think Drex you won. won. You no. won? Because okay. he's wearing this We'll There's give it shirt. to Drex. There's yeah. something in it for you. Shirt. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to tweet me, Anita Krishna one, or if you want to get some information on the show, TWYT Shaw is the Twitter handle. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.